I would do that. But first, before we start, I'll just show you because it's so cute. So they're three weeks old, Tender's puppies are. Um, and then we have our brand new litter, which is only about five days old now. As you can see, these, like, this is Sparkle. And she wasn't that far off in size to the other puppies that Tendra had. You can just see how quickly they grow. Like, we literally watch them double in size and then again and again and again. They usually double in size by about eight days. These guys are already almost a week old. So they're already getting all chunky and cute. You can see the difference that they are. And then, of course, we have, so this is Kristoff. He's the biggest out of Tendra's puppies. Um, and then we have our handsome Timber here. So he is an F2 Pomsky. He is a full-blooded Husky. They are three days apart, um, with Timber being three days younger than Kristoff. You can see, like I showed you last week, and last week they almost looked sort of almost the same length on camera. Like you, It's almost hard to tell how much chunkier they are but like he weighs so much more than them too we always just tease we call him a little football a little chunky puppy and so he's a singleton too so he's probably getting chunkier faster than maybe some other husky puppies would but like seriously he's huge right timber yes and doing so well mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. his eyes just open too and so it's very cute he's just starting to look around and explore the world more So these puppies have mostly opened their eyes and we're just, and their ears are all opened as well. Um, we'll do some more testing on that to make sure, but you can sort of tell. In fact, Elsa opened her eyes, or her ears first, and we could tell because one morning we're pouring kibble into her, into Tendra's bowl, which is right outside the whelping box, and she like startled with like, what's that noise? And, uh, cause she's never heard that noise before, cause she's just barely started hearing noises. So we sort of watch for that sort of response once they start opening their eyes. And uh, it's sort of fun to see and to see what they what they do and how they change. So Elsa was the first board and she is like this, I don't know, it's hard to describe sort of their coloring, but she's sort of a mix between, um, you know, Tendra and this dark color. My guess is she'll look a lot like Arrow. So, and I even debated it with like other breeders and like some are like, oh, I'd call him Wolf Gray or some would say I'd call him like, sable sort of like a tan and black sort of color or some that say that I would just call them you know black and white with with you know some tan on him so I don't know what color you want to call it, but the point being is Elsa will look a lot like um so many puppies that we've had but Arrow's one that we have here that lives here that we have and she is very pretty and she's got her cute little mask we love her yes Elsa is probably the most outgoing puppy in the litter that we found she uh, my daughter will come and sit in the whopping box you know numerous times a day and Elsa was the first to come over and crawl up and get into her lap all by herself because she's like oh I want snuggles and she's very excited and comes over to us when we come in when we come in for attention we've started putting more new things in their whopping box now they can see in here we give them things so one, we bring Timber in um, a few times a day. Timber being uh, a singleton puppy, he doesn't have the same socialization um, as a singleton as you do in having litter mates. And they learn and they interact. Three weeks old, you can tell that they recognize their siblings and there's interaction there. Uh, you can tell they recognize each other because they start chewing on each other and playing with each other. So we bring Timber in so he can have that too. Um, and so they just treat him like he's one of their siblings and they chew on him. and. You know, and he'll try to fall asleep on top of the puppies, like Anna, and she'll get up and walk away because she's like, you're too big to sleep on top of me. And it's sort of cute to watch them all together, and Tendra is fine with them. Him being in here, as long as he doesn't try to nurse, then she's like, no, I'm sorry, buddy. We tease that he weighs as much as Tendra. He does not, not yet, but he will soon. Um, but he gets to come in here, so that's one thing they get that's sort of new. Um, but also we put in different toys and different things um, that make sounds like toys that crinkle versus, you know, I don't know, toys that are more plasticky, different sort of things. And so they get to explore and to see and to interact with new things. And then in a week from now, we'll start bringing them down to the main level, especially hopefully they'll have warmed up because it's like minus 35 today. And so even though our main level is much warmer than that, it's still a little bit cold, but the doggy door open. So she was also was born first, and then Kristoff, and he is just a black and white 
little guy. So, and he looks just like a little husky. We tease that we're like, did Icy get in here and help with these puppies? Because he looks like Icy or Stormy, which are our black and white huskies. Yes. If it wasn't for your size, you would just think you were a little husky, huh? We love his little markings, and he's very cute and fun. He's sort of like, I don't know, I just want to talk about, there's sort of like the puppies that are, you know, a little bit more reserved in a litter. There's puppies a little more outgoing, and then there's sort of what we call middle-of-the-road puppies, which in lots of ways are the best ones. Um, we breed for temperament, so they all have great temperaments. None of them are really, you know, we're not having any really shy puppies or really, you know, aggressive or impulsive puppies that are just crazy. Um, but you like the ones that are, you know, a little bit cautious, but also quick to do things and discover things. And that's more what Kristoff is like. And so we like that. Um, and then Anna is probably slightly more reserved than the other two, but only a little bit. Like it's, um, they're all quite, still sort of more similar at this age than they will be. Um, just with the, the biggest notice being that Elsa's definitely the most, the most sociable of the three. Um, but they're just starting to be social creatures now. They're just learning about that. So that can change too. Um, Christoph is the biggest in the litter. And he's charting to be, my guess, is about 15 pounds. Um, so and Elsa and Anna are very close in size. They're both charting to be about between the 10 and 12 is what I'm thinking. Um, with Elsa being a little bit bigger than Anna. So, but yes, he's very handsome. He wears a green collar. Good luck seeing it. These guys are fluffy. Maverick has got the fluffiest, densest coat ever. We love it. It's like, it's like so plush and thick. Like it's like, it's like a stuffed animal, my kids say. And then of course, Miss Anna was born last. Um, Anna started opening her eyes first. And so she had her eyes open first, didn't you? And uh, so they're both, you can't really tell. Uh, but they are both blue eyes, so she's going to be so stunning with her blue eyes. The other ones, it's been harder to tell. Um, so sometimes it happens if they're party eyes, um, which means they have part one color, part another. And they also have to wait till they're open enough to make sure that I can really see them well enough. Um, but we'll know their eye color a little bit better. I think the other ones are looking more... They're not quite as blue as Anna's, so but we'll keep watching and I'll continue to update on that. But these guys are super cute. She's got her cute little tummy and her cute little... I love her cute little socks. Yeah, she's got little socks on the back and she's got bigger ones on the front. But they all kind of match. Yeah. It's like you wore toe socks in the back, huh? And just bigger socks in the front. Mm -hmm. These guys are all super suddenly. They love to be cuddled. But let's be honest, so does their mom and their dad. Um, Tundra we tease loves to sit on our shoulders and like perch on our shoulders and would happily be carried around constantly. And these guys seem to follow that vein. Maverick too, but Maverick also loves to play like he just just happily sit on your lap or like play with you. So it just sort of depends on on what you're what you're into. Um, so these guys are very very cute and growing quickly. We've had such a busy couple of weeks. It seems crazy to me that they're already this old. I'm like, where is the time going? Right, guys? Yeah, so we're very excited about these puppies. Um, as always, we work off a waiting list. And so if you're looking to get a puppy from us, the best way to do that is to send us an email. And you can email us um, at info at Pomsky, And we can answer back there. And you can also check out our website, which has lots of information on there. Come here, Tundra. Tundra's like, why do you have my baby still? Why are you in the box? Come here. I don't normally sit in the box. Usually I sit on the outside with them. And I'll, like, play with them from there and pull them out or whatever. We let them practice walking on, like, the carpet and everything else. So she's like, why are you in my box? And she can't really sit in here the way she normally does. So this is Mum. So, of course, you can see that Elsa has some of her coloring from her. Yes, and she has beautiful bi eyes, don't you? Can you look in the camera? You can see that she's got one blue eye and one brown eye, which we love. Yes. Mm -hmm. So there's a chance for that Kristoff um, will have eyes like that. When, we look, when I looked last, checked the other day, um, we should take them into a room with brighter lights to really see. I don't love doing that when their eyes are just opening. It's sort of harder on them. So we let them adjust a little more slowly than that. In fact, we keep the room kind of dark for the first couple of days is sort of go through a transition period where they go from having basically just the ability to smell their mom and find their mom in the milk to suddenly having their eyes and ears opened and becoming little puppies 
And I made the comment last week, I guess, that my girls say, oh, they're turning into real puppies now. And I was like, but what were they before? And uh, someone suggested to me that before they were possibly fuzzy potatoes. And it made me laugh. I was like, yeah, pretty much. That's exactly what they are. Right? And now you're like turning into puppies. Or as my mom calls them at this age, guinea pigs, because their ears are still tiny. She'll be like, oh, they look like little guinea pigs. And then she says they look like little bears, and then eventually puppies by the time they go home. But they certainly are acting more like puppies. It's fun to watch them and listen to them. They start making noise at this point because they can hear themselves. And so they start to find their voice, and they'll growl at each other and growl at mom and growl at everything. We sort of tease. It's like a toddler learning the phrase no. They learn that they can make noise, and it makes a difference, and that people will respond to it. And they bark and they play and they sort of like make all sorts of cute little noises. So and even Timber's been doing that. Timber's probably the most vocal. He's not in this litter anyway, but we bring them together, all four of them to play. Timber's usually the most vocal, which makes us laugh. We're like, yep, like a true husky. Yes. And they're learning to do all sorts of new, new things. Yes. What are you looking for? Hmm? You're looking for mom to nurse? Do you guys have questions on these puppies? or on any of our other puppies or anything, feel free to just comment below and I'll happily keep an eye out and answer the comments. And we'll of course do another video next week so you guys can see how they're growing and changing. Yeah. We love watching them. I love once they get to this age, it's so fun having me watch, like for us to watch them interact together. Yes, mm-hmm. You guys can see how cute they are. I just want to carry them around. In fact, the other day, I was being grumpy and I was just having, being a little frustrated. Um, my kids weren't listening all that great and things were not going super well at that moment. And my youngest brought me a puppy and she's like, here mom, just cuddle a puppy, you'll feel better. Which made me laugh and I thought, yep, that's certainly true. And careful, Tundra. And, uh, and certainly something that she likes to do. Right? There's nothing better than puppy therapy. Mm-hmm. Are you going to eat your sister? Yes, that's how you know they recognize each other. Yep, yeah, are you going to eat her? Mm-hmm. They're good friends, aren't they? Mm-hmm. It's really cute to watch them play together, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's nice, Anna. Your sister tried to bite your face and you just get, licked her instead. So maybe Anna's slightly nicer than Elsa, I don't know. Just kidding. Um, two seconds later, Anna tried to bite Elsa's face, so... It's just what puppies do. So, but again, if you guys have questions at all, I'm happy to answer them. And I'll keep you guys updated and keep posting pictures and videos of all of our puppies. And you can watch, because in a couple of days, I will do the um, update on our newest litter, our black tie litter. So they'll be one week old, and you guys can see what they're all like, right? Mm-hmm. That's right. So these guys are F2 puppies, where the other litter is F1. Um, and that just means generations. So the mom and dad to this litter are both F2 Pomskis. Or the mom and dad to these to this litter are both Pomskis. Um, Tundra's an F1 and Maverick's an F2. Whereas our F1 litter, the mom is a Husky and the dad is a Pomeranian. So that's sort of how that works. Um, a lot of you ask me or seem to assume that that refers to size and that's not necessarily the case. For example, those who've watched for a while, a Disney dog litter that went home um, a few, a couple of months ago. They're also um, F2s like these guys, and the smallest puppy in that litter was charting to be 17 pounds, where the biggest puppy in this litter is charting to be like 14, 15 pounds. So it doesn't necessarily refer to size. And look at you, you're climbing up onto the whopping box rail, huh? Yes, you are, little girl. That was Anna doing that. Um, so it doesn't necessarily refer to size. It just refers to generations and how far they are from the parent stock, which in this case would be a Siberian Husky and a Pomeranian. So hopefully as you go down, you're, you're breeding for the more desirable traits. And so it can be more predictable in terms of size um, and lots of things, but it doesn't mean necessarily smaller because for our, other, our Disney dogs, both mom and dad are about... Um, 30 pounds, one's 28 and one's 30. And so they are, the, all the puppies were, you know, there's a, a less of a large size range. So it was, you know, um, a smaller size range, but still bigger puppies. 
Whereas these ones, same thing, mom and dad are smaller size range. They're both within two pounds of each other, but smaller puppies. And so it just sort of depends on what they're looking for. We got lots of people who have had like huskies or malamutes. Here, crawled up. She's crawled up. So we have in the whelping box, you can't quite see it. You can sort of see it over on the side. It's called a pig rail. What it really refers to is the place the puppies can crawl under and mom won't lay on them and squish them. This is an issue in some breeds. Some breeds are not very tentative to their puppies or if they have a huge litter. Imagine being like, I don't know, however size and having 12 puppies in the litter box and trying not to squish one. Um, but it's basically like a rail around the outside of the box so that there's space between the floor and the, the rail so mom can't lay against the box and squish puppies. Um, not a big deal for our dogs. They're all very conscious of their puppies. But Anna just crawled up onto it and then walked all along the side of it. Yes, are you adventuring? Are you venturing on them? Um, but yeah, so we're excited to sort of see how these guys turn out. It's fun for us that we're going to be raising puppies that are all... We have an F1 litter, an F2 litter, 